In my last video, I showed you how to upload an image to Cricut Design Space and clean it up so that you can work with it as a cutting file. So now we're going to continue. This is the image we had uploaded and cleaned up. And I want to add some text around it. A friend of mine wants to put this on a shirt. And it's going to say, I'm with Goofy. And then points over to the person standing next to her. Now, I'm pretty sure that Cricut makes an image that is um, Goofy's name. So we are going to go under Images. And I am going to type in Goofy. Now it's going to show me images with Goofy, Goofy faces, but also I get the name Goofy. And I kind of like either that one or that one. So I'm going to select both of them and insert both of them so I can play around and see which one works better. So I'm thinking for this image, if I look over here, I can see all the different layers that this has. And She's just going to want to print this black and white, um, or I'm sorry, not print, but cut this out of black vinyl and iron it onto a shirt. I don't think she's going to want to do all those layers. So I'm going to select that one and ungroup it, and look at it and see how all just the separate pieces look. That's okay. Or I could do this and I'm not sure which one I like better. I think we're going to go with this one. So I'm going to ungroup them because I don't want two layers, I just want the one. And then I can delete this background one. And now I'm going to change this color to black so it matches the outline. So I'm going to go up here and just click on the black. So now both these images will cut out of black vinyl is what I'm going to use. I'm going to save. Now I wanted to add I'm with up here. So I'm going to do text and type in I'm with. I am having typing difficulties today. Why is my computer acting wacky when I type? There we go. But then now I would like to do this in kind of a Disney font. So I am going to go up here and I know I've already saved from the website the font, the Walt Disney font. So I am going to click on Multigraph. Now I like that, but I might want my letters closer together. So I'm going to use this little line spacer to play with that. And I can even go over here and ungroup them. I totally separate them. And then I can just squish them closer together. Until I get where I want it. 
And I'm going to select them and group them back together so that I can move them around and close my layout. <laughs> 